Fran Fine was my hero and was a 90s icon, especially with her impeccable style. And the woman behind the nanny is still just as iconic today. Fran Drescher is here live to bring yes. back all the memories of the nanny. I'm so excited to speak with her. And we're talking about a new book about, about the hit show. Welcome, Fran. It is so good to see you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. It's great to be here, and thank you for helping me promote this fabulous book. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's get to it. So the new, <laughs> the new book, N is for the Nanny, gives us all the feels and all the nostalgia. What's the best Fran Fine memory that this book brought back for you specifically? Oh, you know, I mean, I think that all the characters are represented in here, and I love the fact that they use so much leopard throughout the book. <laughs> it's so sweet, and, you know, so it's really, it's a beautiful book. It's great for the whole family. It's a great stocking stuffer for any, um, you know, nanny fan and most important it's in support of cancer schmancer if you go to cancerschmancer.org you can also uh buy an autograph copy Ooh. of it because Ooh. i'm personally autographing some as a special fundraising effort for cancer schmancer and you know we love our fans and i'm and i really uh feel very uh, strongly about what cancer schmancer does and how it helps so many people identify causation of illness and how we teach people to change their lives and detox their home, which are all the things that, uh, you know, reduce our immune system's ability to protect and defend us in resisting things like viruses, like COVID, and, and a whole host of other problems. Uh, you know, uh, the truth be told, like when I saw we were interviewing you today, I was just like, the last time you were here, you're just so positive. We're so glad you're back. And you know, DBL, we want to get that background story. So I hear that 60 supermodel Twiggy helped inspire the idea for the nanny after you took her daughter to London, which is a crazy story in itself. But what was the aha moment there where you're like, I think there's a show here? Well, the kids started saying to me, her new shoes were hurting her. And I was thinking to myself, oh my God, we just got into the city. Now you want to go back? So I said, honey, just step on the backs of them. And she said very innocently, won't that break them? And I said, break them in. And I thought, oh my God, this is... This is a very funny relationship because I'm not really being a traditional caregiver and doing what's good for the kid. I'm telling her what's good for me. <laughs> and I couldn't get it out of my head. I called my then part uh, husband and, and still a writing partner and producing partner, Peter Mark Jacobson. And I said, you know, I think I have an idea for a series uh, what do you think about a spin on The Sound of Music? Only instead of Julie Andrews, I come to the door. <laughs> and he has a very good sense for these things. And he said right away, that's it. Let's develop it and we'll pitch it to CBS. And that was really the beginning of the beginning of it all. Wow. Uh, I love that story because, you that's know, great. I did not miss an episode. Yep. So let's talk about the oh, forward. Thank you. Yes, of course. Because in the forward of In is for the Nanny, you said all of Fran Fine is in you, but not all of you is in her. So what do you mean by that? Well, I think that, um, first of all, I don't think Fran Fine uh, could have ever, you know, created and produced her own television yes, series. Girl. I happen to be very ambitious and I'm totally self-made. I've never been someone that, you know, uh, was looking to get married to somehow complete my story. Um, even though I've been married twice, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm very, I'm an activist. I'm an environmentalist. I'm very political. I go to the mat for any group that's being marginalized. I fight for civil liberties. I'm really for, you know, uh, diversity and inclusion. I help 
get a bill passed in Washington. I became a public diplomacy envoy for the State Department. Now I'm the sag after national president, which mm. is the largest entertainment union in the world. I got cancer, I survived, and I created my own nonprofit, Cancer Schmancer. So all of these things I don't really think are within Fran Fine's grasp, <laughs> though I do think that she had a tremendous amount of street smarts, mm -hmm. Queen's logic, as we called it. I think she had a great heart. And the global message of that show was, it doesn't matter what you look like or sound like, it's what's in your heart that counts. Mm -hmm. And that's always been very important to me. But, you know, even when I was doing The Nanny in the 90s, I thought, you know, for me, even though it was blue collar meets blue blood, and I was really representing the blue collar from the wrong side of the tracks, um, I thought that the show needed to diversify. Mm -hmm. And in the 90s, really, there wasn't a lot of that going on. Mm -hmm. It was, there were kind of uh, separate shows uh, that were dominated by, you know, one group or another. But we brought in Ray Charles mm -hmm. into our show and, uh, and, and hooked him up with Grandma Yetta. So they became like a biracial couple. That's amazing. And then Thank you from so much. From Ray Charles, uh, then we got Coolio. May he rest in peace. May yes. he rest. He we're, oh. his nephew. All right, we're almost out of time here. We and want to make Brian sure. Gumbel. There you go. I love that. Fran, thank you so much for joining and us. Whoopi. And Whoopi. And oh, Whoopi. DBL you're Nation, welcome. grab a copy of the book. N is for the nanny. O is oi. Just so you guys know, it's my favorite book. <laughs> <laughs> At the nannybook.com. We're on Amazon. And Fran had the chutzpah you have, which I love. 100% of the proceeds goes to the cancer schmancer movement. Uh, thank Thank you so much for being an activist and Thank for being you. you. We'll be right back. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you.